On my desk lies a silver engraved ring, reminding me of my best ever friend, Michael. My sister led a dance workshop at a local university. I went to pay her a visit. A boy dancing in the middle of the group screamed out, hey, 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 it's Fahad Albert, shouting like a wildcat. Nobody laughed, silence. Then I replied, shut up, get to a Bugs Bunny, in my most spiteful voice. Everyone cackled, but he stayed silent. Ten minutes later, my sister asked the group to take five. She told me Michael was the troublemaker of the class, but he could really dance. He stood by himself near the stairs drinking water. I went to talk to him and eventually he apologised. We decided to get lunch. Conveniently, McDonald's was a few steps away. And over fast food, we became fast friends. Two years passed. May 23rd was his birthday. And I went to play laser tag with Michael and his friends. I took the long journey to his house. But before we went to the warehouse where tag was played, we indulged in video games and sugar like it came from a bottomless well. Now hyperactive, we left for laser tag. We battled like Vikings for four hours straight. We faced these Swedish dudes who spoke flawed English. After a clean victory, we often returned to play tag. Another year passed and Michael gave me a box containing a ring. With an ominous tone, he said, we will be friends forever. A week later, my sister told me he had moved away. I studied the ring he gave, and engraved was the message saying, it was fun, call me with this number. I did, but eventually he stopped answering his phone, and we grew apart. The silver ring still rests on the table in my room, but reminds me that promises are sometimes broken.